Hey guys, it's me, Ginger. Welcome to the book. I'm back to my channel. So today is Saturday the 9th, and I am getting ready to go take a look at my greens because I keep talking about these greens and see how I was doing because we had a big rain last night. Go ahead and get started. Talk to you in a minute. All right, so here I'm preparing for my spring garden by way of clearing out the greens. So I, in this video, I just couldn't decide if I was going to leave the mustards in there and the collards in the same area because I need to get prepared to plant my peppers and my tomatoes. So here I just decided to go ahead and remove all the mustards and then later in the video, I'll come back in and harvest some of the collards and then I'll show you guys what they look like once I'm done and then the, the cleaning process for the greens as well. So just stay tuned guys and enjoy this harvesting vlog. I'm gonna put this in my garage. Those little bugs all over the place. Yeah, I got a clothes basket. I'm gonna put these in there and store them in the garage until I get back later. And then I'll clean them because I need to go to the Dollar Tree again and get some vinegar. store these in the garage so I can clean them once I get back instead of leaving I decided to give the greens a quick rinse because they had some not all the leaves but some of them had bugs on them and I didn't want to track the bugs in the house so I decided to go ahead and give them a good rinse before leaving I decided to do with these scraps of the greens and my orange peel is make my own fertilizer so i have looks like some onion in here too i have onion scrap and the greens i just pulled up so i have that in there with some hot water that i boiled and then this container has the orange peels so we're going to use this for the pests and then i'm going to use this for the fertilizer for my plants so i'll let this sit for a couple of days and we'll see how that turns out so this is the first time i've done this but this one i've done that before so yeah and then we have the greens. This is a pretty good mess of greens because this bottom is stuffed with greens. So those are from yesterday and these are the ones that I packed or picked today. So yeah, yeah that's okay. it guys. I'll come back once I get ready to, once he gets ready to leave. Bye. Look at that hole. I have almost nothing left soil wise i'm gonna have to go get a couple of bags i got two bags up front which i don't think it's gonna be enough to fill this so we'll see <laughs>
Now you can see the ground. I believe these will do pretty good in the warm weather. If not, I don't know if I can relocate this, but I don't know. We'll try. I'll try to keep this here, and I'm going to plant my tomatoes around these greens. So that's what I plan on doing, just to see how long I can keep them. We shall see. Have that plant right there. I think I'm gonna pull that one up because it's full of bugs, the aphids. Yep. <clears throat> Leave that one alone. Yeah, this one. That one's coming up. See, look at that. I'm gonna wash this one off with the water hose. Cause it's pretty bad. But they'll still be fine if you clean them off. So. Yeah, I decided to just clean these outside right now because of the, the space in my kitchen. I got stuff everywhere. So I'm just gonna rinse them off and put them in this planter that I got from the Dollar Tree until i can get my sink cleaned out and then i will probably go ahead and separate these after that but i just wanted to show y'all what i was doing oh and then i'm just going to go ahead and make another jug of this fertilizer so as i get these scrap pieces i'll just put them in a container and then i'm gonna boil some more hot water and put those in there so see this is what i'm trying to get off look at that you gotta make sure you look in the veins of the greens for all the little critters and dirt. So you have to look at it real good. So I wanna clean them outside first before I take them in. I have the mustards on one side and then all the collard types on the other side of this container. And see if they look too bad, then I'll just, this one has a lot of sunburn, then I'll just take them and put them in the gallon jug. And I'll use this towards the fertilizer. So that's what I'm going to do with those. So, so if y'all can see that dirt and all the little bugs that are falling off of the greens. So I think this is going to be my new way of cleaning them. Clean them outside first and then take them in. Make sure you look at the vein really well. Just like I mentioned a minute ago. So this is what it's looking like so far. But it's a pretty good bunch in here. And I need to go harvest some kale, but I probably will wait and do that in a few days. That may be the end of this video. So Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.